This short video describes the use of the Excel section in iLabber experiments. So the section is added in the usual way by double clicking on the Excel section button here in the section toolbox on the left hand side. Now to add a new empty worksheet you would right click here and choose new. But often you want to bring in an existing Excel file so you can just simply click on the link in the section. You then browse to the file on your computer and double click on it to open it. So the file is opened in Excel and then what you need to do is to decide which cells you want to have visible in the experiment. You then select those cells in Excel and then you must save the file. So just press the Save button or Control S. Then close Excel. iLabber then generates an image of those cells in the experiment. At the same time, the actual Excel file is also saved in the experiment and saved on our data, at our data center. So you can come to any Excel section in your own experiment or in a colleague's. You can right click on it and you can save the Excel file on your hard disk. And of course you can double click it and open it up in Excel. And you see all of the cells in the worksheet, not just the ones in the experiment. And you can have several worksheets, you can have calculations, you can have macros, etc. If it's your own experiment and it's still open for editing, of course you can then change the data in the Excel file. So I can change this data, reselect my cells, save the file and close Excel. And the modified Excel file comes into the experiment and again is saved in the data center. As with other sections, Excel has the section toolbox which allows you to move the section up and down using these arrows. You have the section properties. These are also obtained by double clicking on the section title. So you can change the section title. You can also delete the section and you can copy and therefore paste the section. So you can take this section, you can copy it and you can then paste it into another experiment, open it up, modify the Excel data and close it again and create a whole new Excel file in that other experiment. So the Excel section is very powerful.